When an electrode in an evacuated tube, as shown here, is coated with an active metal, electrons may be emitted from the metal when it is irradiated by light. This effect is called the photoelectric effect. Einstein used Planck's concept of light as a stream of photons to explain the effect. When light of long wavelength impinges on the electrode, no electrons are emitted. Einstein proposed that this is so because the individual photons do not have sufficient energy to dislodge an electron from the attractive forces of the metal. Even when the light intensity is increased, there is no emission of electrons and no current flows. When light of shorter wavelength strikes the surface, electrons are emitted and are drawn to the anode. Thus a current is seen to flow. Einstein proposed that the photons of shorter wavelength light impart sufficient energy to the electrons to enable them to escape from the metal. The kinetic energy of the electrons is the excess of that which they require to escape from the metal. When the intensity of the shorter wavelength light is increased, more electrons are emitted and the observed current increases. However, the excess energy which the electrons possess remains the same. A higher intensity of light increases the number of electrons emitted, so the current increases. However, because each photon still imparts the same energy to each electron, the kinetic energies of the electrons remain the same. When light of still shorter wavelength is employed, the photons are emitted from the metal with higher kinetic energy. This is so because the higher energy photons have imparted more energy to the electrons and more kinetic energy remains after they escape from the metal.